Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Now, I'm sure you guys already know about this story. Rogue cell towers can intercept your data. At least one found in Chicago. Uh, as you can see here, we covered that story over at the nworeport.me website. Uh, and uh, the story came out a couple of days ago. And I wasn't even going to make a video about it. And I got to thinking, well, maybe I should tell you guys what has been happening here in West Arkansas. Uh to me and some people that, that I know with our cell phones. Now, as you can see here on this map, uh, and we'll display it here on the screen bigger here in a second, uh, there's not one in West Arkansas that we know of. We don't know where these fake cell towers are. Uh, but what we do know is this has been going on for years. Uh, it's, it's not uh, hackers like this guy over at CBS tried to say. Uh, he tried to say that uh, the that uh, some expert over at CBS2, uh, Ross Rice, a former FBI agent, said that it's likely being used illegally. Duh. I doubt that they are installed by law enforcement as they require a warrant to intercept conversations or data. And since the cell phone providers are ordered by the court to cooperate with the intercept, there really would be no need for this, Rice said. Most likely, they are installed and operated by hackers trying to steal personal identification and passwords. Yeah, right. Hackers are doing this, according to Rice over at CBS 2. All right, guys. So what you can see right here on screen is the same app that I was just showing you, but it's blown up bigger on your screen so you can see it better. And as you can see, there are several been located all over the country. Now, obviously, I'm pretty sure there's more than likely more than what you see on screen there and as you can see they, they, there's none been located in Arkansas but I don't believe that because the personal experience that me and some friends have been having here and family members um, of, 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 of this what I'm about to tell you uh, and the same thing happens when you connect to these fake towers uh, as well now in some cases you will not be able to send or receive text messages now most of the times you will be able to send and receive text messages but on the rare occasion your phone will not be able to send or receive text messages also your phone will drop from 4g to 2g when they're using these rogue devices and they also use a device called a stingray now what is a stingray device as you can see right there on the screen that's what they look like they vary but they they mainly look like that right there the stingray devices your local police departments have been using these things for years illegally it is illegal uh, you can even ask them about it and more than likely 99.99% of the time they're not going to tell you anything because the FBI has they, a story a story was just released a, a couple of weeks ago about how the FBI told the local police departments to be very quiet about the stingray devices they do not want you to know that they have them and they're illegally listening to uh, just whatever they want to. Now, they'll tell you that they use them for investigation purposes and things of that nature, but that's not the case at all, guys. They're just listening to you whenever they want to. Uh, there's no rules and regulations on it. I mean, it is illegal according to our Constitution, but come on, do you really think these guys are going to get in trouble? I don't think so. And also, guys, I also want to let you know something else. Uh, there's something else that goes on with your cell phone. Um, usually now, I try not to even have my cell phone on when I go out. I'll usually take the battery out of it and have it turned off. And here's the reason why. One, they can be listening to you. And it's not just the police. It's different uh, companies and stuff. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I was uh, exercising out at a park with a friend. Uh, and we had just got through running and we were cooling down and walking around the trail there and uh, My friend she doesn't have insurance through her job that she works at so I Was talking to her about that. I had my cell phone on me at that time because I was expecting a phone call And I asked her about her insurance and you know when was she gonna get some insurance? Okay, no big deal get back home later get a phone call on my cell Okay, with someone asking me about insurance and did I need insurance? What a coincidence, huh? Now, is it a coincidence that I was just talking about insurance and then not even 20 minutes after I got home, I get a phone call from a telemarketer asking me, do I need insurance? 
they're sending ads to your phone now also because they can they have the ability to listen to you through the microphone on your cell phones so here's what i'm going to do and this is just me in in uh i'll try to talk to some, some of my family members about this as well i'm going to get my cell phone turned off uh once my um contract is up which will be very soon and uh, i survived without a cell phone before they came out i'll survive with them uh, without them uh without one so there you have it uh these cell phones are listening and tracking and tracing everything you say and do period